Welcome back to another 10 with Ken. I'm Ken Steele on location at the Metro Toronto Convention Centre. It's September 2016 and time for the 20th annual Ontario University's Fair. As always, this massive event gives us a great opportunity to see what's trending in university marketing and programs. This year, my videographer and I made a conscious choice to focus on getting as many points of view as we could. Although we only had a day and a half on site, we recorded 45 interviews, almost 10 times last year. We spoke with all 11 university presidents who attended OOF, as well as nine other university staff, and to inject some of the youthful energy of the event, 25 student ambassadors. Over coming episodes, we'll share what we learned about hot new programs, new campus facilities, how universities are adapting to teach the 21st century learner, and much more. This week, what do people like most about the OOF? Let's take 10 and take stock. We're at the Ontario University's booth talking with Deanna Underwood. I'm glad we were able to catch you for a couple minutes prior to the chaos. We're expecting over 130,000 people these three days. Right. 20 years ago they decided, you know what, it's just too much to go around the city, let's get one spot, and it has grown from there. It's to now being the largest educational fair in North America, as Ken Steele says. <laughs> I think so. Mm -hmm. I oh, I think so. Once again this year we decided to crowdsource experience of the OOF. But this time we did it the hard way. And is this your first OOF? It is, yeah. So this is my first. Yes, it is my first. First, first, first. First OOF, yes, believe it or not. Having a great time. This is actually my first year at OOF as a student ambassador. This is my first time being an ambassador. It is my first OOF, behind the scenes. This is my first working. This is my first OOF and I'm very excited. This is actually my first. First, first, first OOF ever. First as a recruiter, but it's my second time because I was here when I was in everybody else's situation. This is my second. Second, 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 second. This year, last year working. Two, this is my second. I have been at two OUFs. I think this is my fourth. Four times. Yeah, wouldn't miss it. I guess this would be my fourth or perhaps my fifth fair. This would be my fifth oof, I believe. Oh, five, six. I think this will probably be my sixth. Six, six Ontario University fairs, four with Brock, and actually two as a parent. Oh, this is my seventh. I believe this is my eighth, eighth oof. Uh, I've been at OOF nine years. Yeah. This is my 10th Ontario University's Fair. 16 years now. Uh, this is my first uh, University Fair as president, but I have been at Ryerson for uh, 18 years. <laughs> well, I'm laughing because I've been at 18 uh, OOF fairs. Apparently there's a pin you get if you've gone to every one. Uh, I've been all to all but two of them. Every single one, all 20, hence the 20th anniversary I've button. Been to all 20 years. Can you see that? And with the 11 years that I've been attending the fair, our grand total comes in at just over two centuries. So how do staff and volunteers feel about attending the OOF? It's been fantastic. I love OOF. Uh, it's been a really fun experience. Every time it's amazing. One of the most wonderful experiences in my year is coming to the university's fair. For me, being at OOF uh, is like convocation. It's the bookends of the student experience. Next to convocation and next to startup, it gives you that sense of the, the future. It's been awesome. It's way more fun than reviewing their transcripts and deciding if they're admittable or not. Absolutely. <laughs> Honestly, when I first walked in, I was like, googly eyes. I like it, but there is uh, an element of being overwhelmed. It's very overwhelming, but it's also very interesting and exciting. And it was definitely a very exciting experience. Um, I didn't really know the scale that it would have, would be on. Even though it's so exhausting and like holding all of those guidebooks, I'd still do it every, all three days, 24-7. It's exhausting, but it's exhilarating at the same time. It's amazing. I love OOF, actually. What do you like best about coming to the fair? Great question. Well, first of all, the energy. I like the energy. It's the energy. I think the energy. I think that it's mostly the energy, um, the excitement, the energy, the enthusiasm, uh, probably the energy of the uh, of the students. The energy, the vibes, just the excitement and the vibe of the fair is uh, is fantastic. I really enjoyed the energy, the con the interaction with students. Really, the excitement and the buzz you can actually hear it in the trade show floor. It's definitely exciting. There's definitely a huge vibe. The energy you have here from the students, the energy you have from the staff and the faculty. We're all energized in the university sector about the students because that's what we're, we're all about. 
the best part about it is you have all the universities from all, uh, from all around Ontario. Just really excited about showing what they have to students. Next best thing to a campus tour. Great place to come, see lots of folks. Universities put a lot of work into this. In high school I never had this opportunity. I think it's sick that you get to see all the different education institutes in one place. I think it's a great way for students to learn about all the different options for post-secondary. Because there's so many people here to talk to, everyone's willing and able to help you out with all of your questions. It's kind of like your one-stop shop. It's kind of a one-stop shop for students that, uh, you know, rather than having to go and visit multiple universities when they're just getting into the application process in grade 12, they can come here, talk to everyone, see what everyone has to offer quickly, and then make the decisions on who they're going to apply to. Well, within the context of Ontario, uh, this just brings uh, all the universities together and it's so customer friendly, if I can use the term. You know, it allows students and their parents you know, to come and check us out within this weekend. So this is just a wonderful opportunity for them to get a flavor of what is available out there. Obviously the main purpose of the OOF is to connect universities with 130,000 prospective students. Uh, it's a great opportunity to talk to prospective students, talk to their parents. Uh, it's actually really exciting uh, to meet new students. It is so wonderful to be able to have that face-to-face -face contact with students and parents. Uh, so it's really cool just kind of interacting with so many people at once. I love to meet people. Frankly, I'm a people person. It was just fulfilling to talk to students and parents that are excited about the prospect of going to university. And just getting to know them and trying to make the most out of the few seconds that I interact with them. Um, and to be able to see all of those faces of potential students getting excited about where they're going to be going in their next couple of years. OOP is the kickoff to the recruitment season. This is the future. This is where uh, our students are going to come from. This is where we meet uh, many of uh, the students that end up coming to Trent. I guess the main reason to come here is you get exposed to the most and the best students in Ontario. It's really about the connection that you uh, start to uh, develop with uh, uh, students and their families. I think this is the first contact and it's really a beginning of a relationship and partnership that we would like to establish with society. Uh, I think OOF is essential for the re building the relationship between universities in the province and the general public, uh, not just students, but their parents. I think OOF is just absolutely an essential place to be. Not only is the university fair effective for public outreach and recruitment, but it's a powerful tool for market research as well. When you're standing on the floor and talking to parents and students, you get a real sense of what what way the wind's blowing, what people are interested in. What the trends are, what the kinds of questions. I like listening, first of all, to the students to making sure what programs and offerings they are interested in, what they want to do in their careers and their future. Just the ability, the energy to talk to people from now all over the province. So prospective students with all of their questions, it doesn't matter, I've been in the business for 35 years and every year we do this, it's fresh for me. The students change and the questions change over time and I find that a learning experience. So the questions are always different. The OOF isn't purely about students. It's also a valuable team building opportunity. And what I like about it at Ryerson is that we bring faculty here and staff to talk to parents and, uh, and students. And from each program we have faculty that are here to give them an idea about what the program is about and also what the environment that we create at Ryerson for them to be successful. What I uh, really enjoy is seeing our students, our faculty and our staff engage with parents and their uh, kids who are looking uh, at an array of options and choices. I also like getting to know some of the faculty members that I don't get to see on a day-to-day -day basis and meeting with them and talking casually with them and maybe having a casual discussion during the, the Ontario University Fair. I also like meeting my colleagues from other institutions. So. Uh, I worked at three institutions and when I come back I don't just talk to prospective students and parents, I also talk to other administrators and faculty that I've known elsewhere and that's a significant element of it as well. Plenty of folks on the convention center floor made it clear that it's not just about team building but spirit building as well. 
booth tonight. I think it's the atmosphere of it and the pump up of having students come to your booth and be excited about you know your university and what you're passionate about. I think it's such an incredible opportunity to uh, introduce students to all of the things that Windsor has to offer and really advocate for our school. So I'm really enjoying myself. So it's been a great opportunity to meet a ton of prospective students and share my love for Queens and the spirit on campus and bring it uh, to the exhibit and show them why I love Queens so much and why it's the best school to go to. When I came in grade 10, 11, and 12, it was where am I going, what do I want to learn, who am I, where should I be going, and now I'm at the place that I want to be and I get to tell people about the place that I want to be. So I get to push Trent on other people. <laughs> oh man, like what do I want to tell these guys, kind of like to attract them to come here. You can see it when you're talking to them and if you're passionate enough about it, they clue onto it and just that change in their eyes where they're like, this is somewhere I can see myself. It's so rewarding every single time. It's great seeing the interest in computer science. I get really excited personally when I find someone that wants to talk to me about my program. Like I'm passionate about the outdoors so I really appreciate when other people are passionate about it as well. Yeah. <laughs> It was only a few years ago that these student ambassadors were high school students themselves, so they understand the perspective of prospective students. What's it like being on the other side of the carpet uh, as the ambassador? I like being in the other side because I'm in that position before, now I can help. Be, having come from the other side, I can really relate and provide them with better answers. When students are coming from grade 12 at 17, they are bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and we've all been there. It's good to see like the excitement in everybody and like what I probably looked like when I was coming around all the booths. It's the biggest decision they'll make probably in their life, so I mean, I understand where, where they're coming from with this. I know making a decision for what university you want to go to in your undergrad was such a difficult experience for me, and I wanted to make sure that I was there for other students to kind of coach them through it uh, and make it more of an easy path or an easy decision. I'm really happy and glad uh, um, that I'm, I'm here right now to help the other students too. It's really cool to talk to the participants and kind of get a feel of what they're struggling with and trying to help them out. It's a really difficult time for a lot of students to figure out what they want to do for the rest of their lives. So it's nice to kind of know that you can be someone there to be like, it's okay if you don't know what you want to do. This is what we offer. Hopefully maybe you want to come to Western. I love it at Western. It's pretty cool. I really enjoy it. I enjoy answering questions and I can see the nervousness in the, in the parents and the children because of knowing that my parents and I was there myself and I just want to give them confidence and tell them it's going to be okay and I, I, I'm on the other side and I enjoy it so that don't don't really be afraid. It's, good. it's a really great experience and really exciting experience. It's a good time for me to sort of say to them, deer in the headlights, you don't need that. You know, university is the fun part. High school was the hard part. So If there's one thing to love about working in higher education, it's the opportunity to engage with students, optimistic and ambitious about their futures. I think the best is to, to uh, meet all the students and the parents and seeing uh, the excitement that they have in terms of their future. Where they're coming from and where they want to go, just, I love that stuff. Uh, you can't help but feel really enthusiastic about education and about the future. Uh, listening to their concerns, listening to their aspirations. It's awesome to see so many eager high school students coming to speak with universities and they have so many long-term goals. Some want to go to medical school, some want to become lawyers. Uh, the COU booth today, they've been asking the students, what do you, what are you excited about about the future? And seeing some of the answers and the students, you know, one student yesterday, I'm going to change the world. So that was, uh, it was a lot yeah, of fun. So It's just getting to meet the students who are pursuing their dreams, trying to find out exactly what it is they want to do with their life. Just exploring with them their future potential. For me, that's that's my passion. That's why I love doing this. I mean, to see this many people coming and looking at their future gives us hope as humanity, right? Mm. This is our future coming in play. It's yeah. nice to see that. Thanks for taking 10 with me for this first OOF podcast of 2016. We heard from 45 ambassadors distilling 200 years of experience at the fair. Unfortunately, our time ran short at the fair and we were unable to get to about a half dozen booths. I want to apologize to those institutions that were left out and assure them that we'll make them a priority for next year's podcast. I also owe an apology to Ontario Colleges because unfortunately my schedule once again will not permit me to attend the College Information Fair next month. Join us next time for a summary of new booths and new marketing tactics at this fall's OOF. To be sure you don't miss it, please subscribe to this podcast on iTunes, YouTube, or by email. Subscribers to my free email newsletter will get exclusive early access to upcoming episodes. I hope to see you next time.